Good evening. I am Aster Disbro. As student body vice president, I'm honored to welcome the Berkeley High School class of 2020, our families, friends, and community to our first ever virtual commencement. 2020 often refers to perfect vision, but we didn't see this pandemic coming. We've had this time in our lives planned out to perfection for years, and this change has definitely been difficult for us all. In the past, pandemics have been a catalyst for change, and these past few weeks have allowed us to gain a deeper understanding of the many problems facing our country. As a generation, we will have inherited a number of issues we will need to address. The future of this country is our responsibility and it is up to us to lead the way. If there's one thing I know about my classmates, however, we are a strong-willed group, ready to re-envision the future, and I'm more than confident in our ability to do this together. I'm so thankful for our families, teachers, coaches, and community that have guided us to this point, and I'm beyond proud to be a part of this talented and motivated group of people. So without further ado, it's my privilege to welcome you to the commencement for the Berkeley High School Class of 2020. Good evening. I am Adler Fritz, Senior Class Vice President. Tonight, we will hear speeches from our superintendent, principal, and winners of the Senior Speech Contest. Throughout the ceremony, we'll also hear musical performances from our senior members of our band, choir, and orchestra. As we begin our ceremony, please rise as we honor our country with the national anthem, sung by senior class president Cameron Hawkins. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave? For the land of the free and the home of the brave. Now as we say goodbye, I'm so Oh! 
please welcome our superintendent, Dennis McDavid, to share a few words with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, parents, guardians, grandparents, siblings, guests, colleagues, and graduates. It's my honor to welcome you to the Berkeley High School 2020 commencement exercises. I should acknowledge right away that this ceremony is different from any other graduation ceremony that any of us have ever been a part of. One clear example is that you are at your homes with your families <clears throat> and I'm speaking here to an empty auditorium. I mentioned to one of my brothers how odd it would be to speak to an empty room. He nodded and told me that the number of people in this empty room roughly approximates the number of people who actually listen to my remarks even when the room is full. I think there may be some wisdom there, so realizing that and knowing this year you can fast forward through my remarks, let me try to be brief. <clears throat> Graduates, you have had a remarkable career while at Berkeley High School, and you finished it in a most remarkable way. I'll have much more to say about you in a minute. But first, I'd also like to acknowledge your teachers, your administrators, the entire staff at Berkeley High School. In a normal year, they work extremely hard to help support, educate, guide, direct, encourage, and lift you up. This year, they did all those things while you were together and redoubled their efforts when you were forced to be apart. That they were able to provide you with the best remote learning available with very little time to prepare is a tribute to their character their resiliency, and their love for all of you. So thank you, teachers and staff. I'd also like to thank Principal Andy Malosh, Assistant Principal Shamika Womble, and Carolyn Krieger. In a normal year, they have to make a number of tough decisions and meticulously plan these year-end events. This year, without a playbook, they've done another terrific job. Thanks, too, to Ms. Olson and Ms. Flood, our senior class sponsors. They have also done a remarkable job. I'd also like to recognize our school board who provides the direction, guidance, and support we need to get our work done. Our trustees are Roger Blake, Mike Tripp, and Ron Justice. Our officers are Cheryl, our secretary, Cheryl Stoddard, treasurer, Mitchell Moses, vice president, Mary Jo Israel, and president, Keith Logsdon. I'd also like to mention our central office team. This group of people, along with the entire central office staff, work behind the scenes to create the conditions needed for all of our students to succeed. Our team is Deputy Superintendent of Finance Facilities and Operations, Larry Gallagher, Assistant Superintendent of Schools Human and Human Resources, Chris Sandoval, Director of Student Services, Heather Lackey, Director of Teaching, Learning, and Technology, Scott Francis, and Director of Communications, Jessica Stilger. Now to the class of 2020. You have been an exceptional class which has thrived under exceptional circumstances. <clears throat> While at Berkeley High School, over 76% of you took at least one advanced placement class. Those are college level classes. Nationally, 39% of graduates take an AP class, so you're, you as a class have very nearly doubled the national average. 14% of the class took rigorous vocational education classes, and over 40 of you earned certificates in everything from computer programming to auto mechanics to nurse assistantships. Nearly 30% of the class was in band, orchestra, choir, or drama. Over 36% of you distinguished yourselves on the athletic fields. As a class, you have performed over 10,000 hours of volunteer service running blood drives, collecting food for the needy, and lending a hand to many worthy causes. Many of you helped found and others helped participate in sources of strength. Many others were peer-to-peer -peer supports or links or tutors for your colleagues and underclassmen. You all seem to have a real passion for service to others and that has never been needed more than it is now. 97 of you are graduating tonight with a grade point average of 3.9 or higher. That is nearly 33% of the class. Over 69% of the class is graduating with academic distinction. This is an incredible achievement when you consider the rigorous classes you took and the high expectations of your teachers. Next year, some of you plan to continue your education at a vocational school. A few will immediately go into the workforce and some will take a gap year. Two of you will begin serving the country immediately as you enter the United States Army and Navy. 90% of you have applied to at least one college to continue your studies next year, 
and as a class, you have earned almost $7.5 million in scholarships. In an increasingly competitive college application process, 89% of those who applied to Michigan State were accepted, and 62% of those applying to the University of Michigan were accepted there. These are among the best acceptance rates I've ever been able to report in all my years as superintendent. Next year, your, you and your classmates will be attending nearly every public and private university in the state. Great places like Central, Eastern, Western, Oakland University, Wayne State, Grand Valley State, Albion, Kalamazoo College, and Lawrence Tech, among others. Some of you will go to school out of state or even out of the country and have been accepted to and or will be attending Spelman College, Columbia, Northwestern, University of Virginia, Sciences Po in France, McAllister College, Howard University, Brown University, the University of Pittsburgh, and Miami University, among many others. Many of you who are included in the numbers just mentioned, and some of you who are not, struggled through high school with issues not always known to others. Some of you may have wrestled with the importance of high school. Some of you may be late bloomers. Some may have had physical or mental health obstacles to overcome. Some may have had family problems, all of which made the work harder and the struggle real. Your efforts and successes and the perspectives you bring enrich and ennoble all of us. I want all of you to know that we are equally proud of and equally happy for each and every one of you. I also know that this last quarter of the school year may have been tough in so many ways for so many of you. You lost some of the rites of passage that are associated with high school graduation. Things like prom, senior clap out, an in-person graduation, and even the experience of taking your last high school final exam. Those experiences can't be replaced. We've tried to do the best we can to fill the void, but I know that they can't be fully replaced. As with any loss, there is grief that comes with it. So I encourage you to grieve these losses. Don't just stuff them away someplace. Talk about them with your parents, your friends, your brothers and sisters, or anyone who supports you. Know that like any loss, we all feel it a bit differently, but talking to others about it will help you process your feelings. Graduates, I also want you to know that several months ago in late January, Mr. Malosh stopped by my office to tell me he had completed the first draft of his graduation speech. I was impressed that he was even thinking about graduation in January. I was also impressed with his speech. You'll hear that speech a bit later, and it is largely, uh, largely unchanged from when I first heard it. It's not giving too much away to say that his remarks center around kindness. What's important to remember is that he focused on kindness before we were faced with this pandemic. At the time, in January, he told me, this is the most kind, giving, and fun group of seniors I've ever been around. That is saying something, because Berkeley High School, in addition to academic excellence, is known for, re known for producing remarkably thoughtful, kind, and giving students. You all come from remarkably kind and giving people. So tonight, as we celebrate you in your 13-year career with the Berkeley School District, it's important to remember that your success was born out of your drive to succeed, your resiliency, your ability and will to overcome obstacles, and your determination. You also succeeded because of your kindness, your thoughtfulness, your humility, and your willingness to help others. Tonight, we celebrate all of that. We know that this world needs thoughtful, kind, and humble people who go out of their way to help others. You are those people. We thank you for the good grace and spirit of optimism, compassion, and love with, with which you have embraced the last part of this school year. Continue to embrace the rest of your life in the same manner, and not only will you go far, and not only will you make a difference in the lives of others, but you will also have lived a life of challenge and fulfillment. Graduates, my deep thanks to all of you for the way you have conducted yourselves during this very trying time. I'm proud and honored to call you Berkeley High School graduates. Congratulations.
And now, let's hear from the Senior Speech Contest winners. Hello, Berkeley. I am Danny Flannery, and as far as anyone here knows, I'm the class valedictorian. First, I'd like to welcome the school board, Mr. McDavid, the staff, and all the administrators of BHS. And I'd like to thank them for arranging and putting together this very non-traditional virtual graduation ceremony. Just like the last two months of school, I technically didn't have to write this, but I was bored, so I figured, why not? Now, I'm not here to tell you that life is like a book, and that high school is a chapter in the book, and that each year is its own chapter, because that's the most cliche senior speech imaginable. I would know, because I heard that at another graduation. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to make you guys listen to that. But instead, I'm just going to tell you, high school is what it is, and it was wild. Freshman year, we lost Vine. We had a bomb threat, a water main break. Everybody and their mom had a fidget spinner. The only thing people wanted to do was flip water bottles. Sophomore year, we had that lockdown with the police and all the news trucks and everything. Remember, yeah, that happened. Uh, our football team, we only won one game. Mason Ramsey was the most famous kid in the world just for singing in Walmart, and that was also the year that we ran out two-thirds of our admin. Uh, junior year, though, boys and girls soccer teams won districts. We did have another burst water pipe and another polar vortex, but we got Astro World, we got Mo Bomb, and we got Old Town Road. Senior year, this year, of course, we didn't have any lockdowns or burst water pipes, so go us. But we did have the best senior skip day that lasted nine and a half weeks, so thanks, Corona. Uh, we got TikTok, Little Uzi dropped eternal to take, but there was still no fashion show, no breezes, no prom, and let's be honest, this probably isn't how we thought graduation was going to go. What happened this year will forever change our lives. There's going to be more virtual meetings, we'll be more cautious when entering large crowds, and face masks could become the new norm. In the years to come, we'll make it seem like we survived the apocalypse. Yes, some more than others, and we can already tell who that's going to be. But after what this senior class has experienced, we deserve it. It is not what happens to us that matters, but it is how we respond to what happens to us that matters. While it seems like a consolation at this point, we did graduate high school, and that's nothing to turn our nose up at. We could be, we could be the school to the east. So, I don't know how everybody plans on celebrating tonight, but we deserve it. Everybody, congratulations, Berkeley Class of 2020. We're out. Special women in our lives always said, you know my name, but not my story. So let me introduce myself. Hi, I'm Morgan Walker, and my Berkeley High experience was kind of crazy. I didn't grow up in Berkeley, and before coming here, I didn't even know it existed. I've been in the same neighborhood with the same people in the same K-8 through school my whole life. Freshman year, I left my friends, my comfort, and my community by switching to a new school district. I wanted new experiences and a new outlook on life, so I searched for one. And luckily, I found you. That was the beginning of our crazy tale with so much more to come. In these four years, we've gone through a lot. We've all gotten yelled at by Chris, Victor, and Mr. Green for being in the halls. We experienced our first freshman pushback, and I'm sad to say we conducted our first of many freshman pushbacks. Our class was the life of the party, every homecoming, every game, and every pep assembly. We've all been late to class to stop at the bear. We've all seen at least one car get hit in the parking lot, and we've all skipped lunch freshman year. Sorry, Mr. Malash. Through the years, some of the craziest things happened. A pipe leak canceled school in the middle of the day. The school was evacuated because of a false bomb threat. We organized a walkout for an important cause. And finally, we got our senior year taken away right before the real fun began. 
I know this isn't what we thought school would be like, but every story has a lesson. Ours, nothing goes exactly the plan. That seems negative at the surface, but you need to think a little deeper. It's not a bad thing, it's exciting. Every day's a new adventure and we've had plenty. We've made lifelong friends, met the most genuine adults, and made more memories these four years than some have made in their entire lifetime. As we live our lives, we'll discover some expectations weren't realistic, but that's okay. On our way to the top, we'll have to make a few steps. We've gone through a change that no one in this world has experienced before, and we're doing just fine. We're flourishing in every form of the word. Berkeley Bears aren't afraid of change. We support it, we advocate for it, and we encourage it. Never forget that. I'm proud of every single one of you and so happy I was a part of your story, but it's time to turn the page. Thank you everyone who supported us, mentored us, and taught us. You've always known we were gonna be special, and now the world does too. Friends and family, I welcome the Berkeley High School seniors, the class of 2020 vision. Hi everyone, my name is Hannah Hook, and ever since I was five years old, I've wanted to be in high school. This is probably because I had an obsession with High School Musical, like we all did, but beyond that, I wanted nothing more than to be a cool teenager, making memories with my friends and having all kinds of interesting teen experiences. However, somewhere along the path to actually get here, my mindset became a bit warped. I began to compare myself to others and thought that the only way I was going to have a good future was if I got the best grades and had the best resume. The advice I have to give you is this. Focus on what you want to do, here and now. Try different things, even if you're horrible at them. Live just for the sake of living. Know that nothing you do or accomplish in comparison to anyone else will ever determine your worth. Only you and your inner self can do that. And finally, love yourself simply for the fact that you exist and you've kept yourself alive until now. You deserve that much. Hi, my name is Lede. I was born premature at 24 weeks old. My life hung in the balance for my first two years. I went through many surgeries and had to be put on a ventilator to remember the time to stay my life. Those incubations paralyzed my vocal cord and took my voice away. That's when, that's why when I talk it sounds like this. Class of 2020 stories of triumph are about way to hope and fight with our fear with challenges. But the story we tell today is not a story of woe like Malala. Like myself, we are not allowing this, this challenge to take our voice away. The, to the fearless class of 2020, the challenge which we face will not speak for us and will not write our story. But we speak to these challenges and declare boldly our voices are more powerful than the story you tried to write for us. For the presentation of the class of 2020, please welcome our principal, Andrew Malash. Superintendent McDavid, President Logston, members of the Board of Education, faculty and staff, friends, relatives, and most importantly, members of the class of 2020. It is my privilege to address you for your commencement tonight. Before I begin, 
I think we would be remiss if we did not acknowledge the folks who helped you get here tonight, many of whom may be sitting next to you right now. Your families, friends, teachers, counselors, and administrators have each helped to inspire and empower you to develop into the wonderful people you have become. These people have taught and motivated you to persevere through the tough times in order to accomplish great things. They have shaped and molded the person you are through their countless hours of love and care. Please take a moment and give a hug to those sitting with you tonight to thank them for their efforts and your success. Now, I'm hopeful that most of you watching tonight recognize the symbolism of the routine with which I started this speech. For those of you who don't, and that's quite okay, the routine of putting on sneakers and changing into a red cardigan is how Fred Rogers began each of the 895 episodes of his TV show, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. For me, as I thought about the class of 2020, and I reflected upon my lasting memories of you, I couldn't help but think of Fred Rogers and the teachings he left behind. In that spirit, I'd like you to do something for me at some point later tonight before you go to sleep. Fred Rogers gave a lot of commencement speeches over the years, and when he did, he always gave the audience what he called his invisible gift. He would take a minute of silence to think about those who have helped us become who we are today. Some of them are with you tonight. Some are far away but tuned in, and some are no longer with us. Wherever they are, he stated, if they've loved you and encouraged you and wanted what was best in life for you, they're right inside yourself. He felt, and I quite agree, that each of you deserved a quiet minute on your special night to devote some thought to them. So I'm hoping that later tonight, when things settle down and it is just you, that you close your eyes and take one silent minute to honor those folks and the contributions they made to yourself. Fred Rogers was thought of by many to be a trailblazer in television. His show tackled complex and sensitive issues and somehow made them exceedingly relatable to young children. Across the 42 years he broadcasted his show, it remained relevant and continued to resonate with audiences. He also did this during one of the more turbulent time periods in American history. His episodes, which began in 1968, tackled topics that were often on the minds of children. Many of these topics, however, were often seen as too taboo to discuss. Yet, Fred Rogers found a way to explain the feelings kids were having through the medium of a children's show. Divorce, race, assassinations, disabilities, nuclear war, and world tragedies were just a few of the topics that Fred would allegorically translate into the themes of his show. In turn, these episodes would help millions of children across the world process and understand the world around them. The last several episodes he filmed aired barely one month after the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001. In fact, his final act was to perform several public service announcements he created to help ease fears and help people process that confusing time period. As I reflected on the time frame of this show, it occurred to me that most of you from the class of 2020 were born in the year that followed the September 11th attacks. As a result, each of you has grown up in a world that has changed rapidly and continues to be as turbulent as a time period in which Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood aired. I don't think it's a coincidence that Fred Rogers and his teachings have resurfaced these past few years in the form of movies, documentaries, podcasts, books, and articles, as many of us are still trying to process this quickly changing world we're a part of. Personally, I've been feeling very inspired and motivated by the teachings of Fred Rogers, having read, watched, and listened to just about anything I could get my hands on in the past couple of years. As a quick example of the endless supply of wisdom he left behind, the simple act of Googling Fred Rogers yields over 98 million results. While much of it is incredibly applicable to tonight and the journey each of you has ahead, 
I decided to settle upon three of those items, mostly out of compassion for those viewing tonight who don't want to be up past midnight listening to all 98 million of those teachings. Fred once said, in times of stress, the best thing we can do for each other is to listen with our ears and our hearts and to be assured that our questions are just as important as our answers. Each member of the class of 2020 has been a high school student and teenager during a very stressful time in our world. Within that world, however, you have been inquisitive and reflective of how you fit into it. You've written papers, given presentations, debated, studied, and for many of you, already been active participants as citizens in a democratic society. When I reflect back upon my 18-year-old self, I am shocked and frankly embarrassed that I was not nearly as in tune to the world around me as each of you seems to be. 18-year-old Mr. Malosh, who, to be honest, was not much shorter than 37-year-old Mr. Malosh, did not read about politics, watch world news, or even know where any rally supporting any sort of cause was even being held. Yet, each of you has a keen awareness surrounding the multitude of worthwhile causes both here and abroad. With that awareness, however, comes conviction and determination in doing good by others and demanding social justice. Truly, it makes me proud to know that one day your generation will lead. Fred also said, I hope you're proud of yourselves for the times you've said yes when all it meant was extra work for you and was seemingly helpful only to someone else. When I think of the class of 2020, I think of the vast number of students I have called upon to help our building in whatever way possible. Here are just a few ways in which you made BHS a better place. Mentoring underclassmen, tutoring classmates, giving tours to potential students, serving on various committees, and participating in trainings that pulled you out of classes and caused you to have makeup work. Never once in the last four years can I recall any of you even batting an eye at any request that was made of you. Several years back, when I left the classroom and went into administration, someone talked to me about the idea of yes before no. The challenge, they stated, would be finding ways to say yes to people and their ideas, even when the simplest and easiest path typically is to say no. To this day, it is a valuable lesson I carry with me, both personally and professionally. For each of you listening tonight, however, I'm proud to say it is a mantra that you know and embody without having to be taught. Lastly, and in my opinion, most importantly, Fred said, love is in a state of perfect caring. It is an active noun like struggle. To love someone is to strive to accept that person exactly the way he or she is right here and now. When I interview applicants to work at BHS, my final question is always, do you have any questions for me? More often than not, and this is something I would advise each of you in the future to do as well, candidates ask me what I like best about working at Berkeley High School. Each time, without hesitation, I tell them it is the kindness of our students, staff, and community to one another. Members of the class of 2020, you stand out to me as one of the kindest groups of students I have come across in my 14 years of education. To me, you will always be the class with a commanding presence in the peer mentorship program. You were the class that championed sources of strength and grew its presence in our building. Your class is graduating more former Link students than any other year at BHS. Your class has combined to volunteer over 10,000 hours in your four years. You have raised money and collected donations that have gone directly back into our community. Simply put, you care about each other and you care about the world around you. To me, you are the reason I love working at Berkeley High School because you embody the exact kindness that Fred Rogers was trying to create in this world. And so this takes me to what I'd like to leave you all with tonight, as it will be the last chance I'll have to address each of you as my students. It's a song Mr. Rogers used to sing on his show. 
I'm going to read it, however, instead of singing it because, well, I wouldn't want to ruin the evening. Class of 2020, it's you I like. It's not the things you wear. It's not the way you do your hair. It's you I like, the way you are right now. I hope that you'll remember, even when you're feeling blue, that it's you I like. It's you yourself. It's you I like. I thank you all for watching tonight and wish every member of the class of 2020 the best of luck in what the future holds. Superintendent McDavid, members of the Board of Education, tonight I can certify that all of these students have met or exceeded the requirements set forth to graduate. Class of 2020, you have made me proud and inspired me to become better at what I do. For that reason, you will always be special to me. Tonight, I am honored and privileged to call you graduates of Berkeley High School. Reem Mohammed Abdallah. Audra Grace Abrams. Jaden Christopher Adams. Aiden James Allweis. Justin Chagozi Anaganye Ban. Aliyah Brianna Ash. Anthony Khalid Asmar, Michael Luis Ballon, Jolie Ann Bancroft, Ariana Gabrielle Beard, Brayden Daniel Beard, Ari Ben Belchinski, Alexander James Belkoff, Zoe Rose Lee Shaw Bergsman, Samuel Harrison Berlin, Kristen Page Betteridge, Owen Christopher Bjalk, Alexandra Beinenfeld, Sarah Jane Danielle Bill, Kamaya Casino Black, Katerina Simone Blake, Benjamin Thomas Blackier, Alessandra Lucia Bonello, Luke Borman, Kai Bozak, Carmen Leanne Brantley, Lucy Noel Brita, Jack Raymond Brombach, Elijah Aaron Bruning, Peyton Cherry Campbell, Ella Rose Carlson, Zoe Noel Carroll, Nina Daniela Cascardo, Ashley Chalela, Bright Davidson Charles, Arturo Albert Cheney, Scarlett Francesca Chernova, Shana Melka Shimovitz, Yael Chaya Shimovitz, Elizabeth Rose Church, Dominique Charisse Cole Rucker, Michael Patrick Coletta, Quinn Chow Duo Collins, Riley Samuel Combs, Emma Maria Kamadi, Asha Elise Kreiner, Nicolo Angus Cuco, Kyla Gabrielle Cummings, Zachary Thomas Cummings, Michael Bennett Zapp, Eleanor Jacqueline Daniel, Brett Matthew Davidson, Jalen Emmanuel Davis, Joshua Dewan Davis, Lede Deanna Davis, Drew Elizabeth Dietering, Collab Elias Dejeuner, Haley May Deli Durante, Aster Grace Disbro, Emmeline Rose Dowen, Joshua Asher Dubin, William Frank Dudek, Josh Tyler Dudovitz, Leo Charles Dupel, Henry Searing Einhaus, Lee Edward England. Aiden Connor Erb, Clark Lawrence Fador, Mackenzie Ophelia Fambro, Charles Wolf Findling, Maria Elizabeth Fiorini, Daniel Macklin Flannery, Aaron Jacob Freeman. Kyle Jordan Freeman, Adler 
Maxwell Fritz, Casey Lynn Frump, Margaret Joan Gobble, Kalea Moselle Garland, Zachary John Gebhardt, Jillian Alexis Gerhardt, Jackson Warner Gifford, Deanna Elise Gilbert, Raina Jacqueline Gold, Kendall Mary Lene Grayson, Noah Abigail Green, Robin Star Green, Grace Marie Greer, Mercedes Lynn Halo, Emma Catherine Hamilton, Mackenzie Elizabeth Hamilton, Mateus Stephen Hanna, Senate Alan Thomas Hanna, Olivia Grace Harbert, Charday Nicole Harris, Sophie Gail Hart, Cameron Ethan Hawkins, Shailen Rose Hayden, Maxwell Nelson Hazen, Myron Ellis Hill, Melanie Elise Hiller, Nathaniel Lee Hiltonen, Brooke Dominica Hines, Jacob Daniel Hobson, Owen William Horner, Hannah Marguerite Hook, Aiden Jacob Hoskow, Shane Taylor Hoskow, Cole Anthony Hover, James Doyle Hubbard, Althea Quinn Hudson, Carson Jacob Hunter, Eli Benjamin Hurwitz, Ethan Samuel Hurwitz, Brianna Danielle Inman, Katia Christina Ivory, Zachary Scott Jackson, Jaquez Tyleek Johnson, Kayla Janae Johnson, Alexandria Diana Kagan, Jaden Rose Canine, Skylar Rain Canine, Jack Noah Katz, Anna Elena Cavanaugh, Aaron Adele Keefe, Alfonso Evan Keller Casayas, Henry Logan Kelly, Spencer Alex Keys, Hunter Randall Keesling, Parker Daniel Clausen, Kanan Kenneth Klimek, Wendy Rose Clunk, Zoe Corinne Knaus, Kayla Kokotovich, Brianna Galia Komatz, Max Lewis Kopitz, Hannah Rachel Kavinsky, Julie Claire Krasnick, Emma Jean Krom, Nicholas Clemente Kersiak, Margaret Rose Lafremboise, David Alexander Laramie, Jordan Michelle Lash, Isabella Claire Levin, Jacob Michael Levin, Leah Margaret Levin, Jonathan William Levine, Chelsea Renee Lewis, Gabrielle Elizabeth Lilly, Spencer Noah Litvin, 
Emily Jade Lloyd. Kelsey Allen Logsdon. Natalia Rivers Lore. Emma Lee Losey. Marco Jorge Lunagen. Bastian Elliot Jones Lupian. Seamus Paul Lux. Jackson Walker Lyons. Nicholas Gerald Liskawa. Noah Elijah McFarland. Cindy Frank Markle. Natalie Jane Mara. Lauren Natalie Martin. Connor Andrew McCaffrey. Madeline Elizabeth McFarland. Sydney Claire McGoy. Holden Michael McKelvey. Charles Riley McPhail. Alexandria Fern Mead. Aiden Michael Maher. Aiden Julian Medell. Marlon Meltzer. Benjamin Nathaniel Mendelson. Dustin Michael Messenger. Dahlia Lillian Michelson. Madison Danielle Mitchell. Sarah Renee Morris. Ella Lauren Morse. Jarrell Rashawn Mosley. Rose Anoush Moradian. Carson Nevada Murray. Grayson Anthony Myers. Justin Robert Nanis. Hayden Michael Neal. Colby Chandler Nelson. Veronika Nemsova. Kang U Win. Mina Yasu Nielsen. Rachel Michelle Nadler. Samuel Avi Novak. Samuel Victor Novell Register. Jordan Christine Nutting. Grayson William Old. DeAndre Matrice Jason Oliver. Robert Douglas Palmer. Samuel Scott Parent. Terrence Linnell Parker Jr. Natalie Lynn Perilli. Naomi Bess Perkins. Grace Jennifer Hero. Joseph Levi McCullough Perryman. Marvin Andrew Perry. Michaela Grace Phillips. Michaela Sarah Ann Pierce. Drake Edward Patila. Micah Plasencia. Ryan Hannah Hoger. Autumn Renee Pop. Jacob Robert Prier. Emma Azelin Quayle. Kate Avra Cohen Radner. Reese Thomas Radomski. Tabitha Ray Ralph. Dylan Edmund Red. James Louise Rendelman. Margaret Rose Rennie. Dewan Edward Reynolds. Charlisa Mary Lou Rice. Honor Sunghi Robertson. Benjamin Aaron Rosenblatt. Kennedy Celeste Rowe. Jack Manuel Rowland. Sophia Elena Rowland. Mia Jacqueline Rubenstein. Whitney Gabrielle Rubin. Alana Nicole Ruffin. Vikmuthi Kachana Rupasing. Daniel August Michael George Ryan. Ahmed Hassanain Sali. Ian Oscar Sandler Bowen. Cole Adam Sanum. Vivian Rose Sapienza. Sergey 
Sardico. Dana Nicole Sauer. Gary Lee Schaffner III. Jacob Gideon Schlushel. Dugan Jacob Schneider. Michael Gerard Schneider III. Lucas Denali Shadowski. Lauren Goldie Shostak. Asher Malek Schreiber. Laura Nicole Schultz. Joshua Anthony Seaton. Leah Brooke Siegel. Estelle Soline Saruga. Charles Benjamin Sirwa. Benjamin Jacob Schaefritz. Bridget Catherine Shanley. Michael Ryan Shaughnessy. Shazare J. Shelton. Brooke Marie Sherman. Saraya Noor Siddiqui. Jacob Noah Sigler. Erickson Robert Simone. Carly Carmena Singleton. Benjamin John Smith. Kevin David Smith II. Martin Walker Smith. Scott Wallace Smith. Skyler Kamora Sharon Smith. Taylor Lynn Smith. Ella Rose Smitterberg. Sean Gregory Smike. Jaggard Michael Susie Smith. Michael Simon Span II. Abigail Isabella Sparks. Rebecca Grace Spellman. Tatiana Navali Spradley. Charlotte Squires. Cavante Willie Stanton. McCartan Robert Stevens. Duncan Mackenzie Stewart. Rosalie Pansy Steiff. Andrew Matthew Stone. Samuel Thomas Stone. Caitlin Mary Strand. Brianna Elise Suber. Nicholas James Swanson. Ryan Thomas Swanson. Abigail Lynn Sapara. Marin Margaret Zuber. Jacinta Abby Taylor. Lauren Kennedy Mary Thomas. Simon Isaac Toff. Julian Evan Totsky. Lindsay Alexis Tripchepsky. Anthony Michael Turner. Nathan Alexander Trudowski. Cal David Via. Tyler Michael Vigliati. Morgan Leah Walker. Autumn Michelle Walton. Veronica Michelle Wardowski. Aaron Douglas Waro. Aaliyah Elizabeth Weathers. Ryan Elizabeth Weber. Ty Courier Weinbaum. Frank Benjamin Weiss. Patrick Shane Welsh. Megan Elaine Workmeister. Madeline Morgan Westner. Autumn Charlene White. Alyssa Gabrielle White. Savio Martin Will. Kyra Charvet Williams. Grace Elizabeth Winsner. Samuel Dean Winter. Barry Nicole Wolf. Tyrell Kamari Wood. Madeline Elizabeth Wyatt. Selena Catherine Yelda. 
congratulations to all of the members of the class of 2020. For our last goodbye and the switching of the tassels, I'd like to introduce our student body president, Shane Hoskow. Good evening, graduates. My name is Shane Hoskow, and it's been my honor to serve as your student body class president. As we bring our commencement ceremony to a close, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of the parents, teachers, staff, and community who have guided us to this much anticipated milestone. In the past, graduations have always been meaningful for the seniors, but never before has the whole country rallied together in support of a single graduating class. While we were looking forward to a semester filled with relaxation and celebration, we instead were thrown into the biggest learning experience of our lives. In the short span of two months, we have learned the power of collaboration, the importance of resilience, and the gift of patience. Most importantly, we have realized that it has now become our responsibility to shape the future, our time to step up to the plate. Game on. Class of 2020, you are strong, you are kind, you are unstoppable. COVID-19 may be the event that defines 2020, but let's make 2020 the class that defines our generation. Class of 2020, it is time for the moment we've been waiting for. Switch your tassels from the right to the left. Congratulations, fellow alumni of Berkeley High School. We did it. Mm -hmm.